Hi, it's Melissa and I'm back with another layout that I made with my November Clip Kit and this is another shot of the kit. It's called Tapestry and it features We Are Memory Keepers Wildflowers collection. But for this layout I wanted to focus on the Pink Paisley Cedar Lane add-on to the kit so I limited myself to only the add-ons that I had gotten. And so it was mostly the ephemera pack and the 6x6 paper pad. So I had this photo of my son Sam and it was taken when he first started school when he was five in 2012. So it's an older photo and I started by just sprinkling some Heidi Swap Colour Shine. I used the sea foam and then I went in with some gold and I'm just dabbing the kind of residue that you get. I find that you need to shake these quite a lot, but because you shake them quite a lot, you do get some foamy kind of residue. And if you don't use a tissue and kind of blot it, you get a very concentrated kind of bubbly effect. So here I wanted to back my my photo. I off camera I'd already put up on a piece of white cardstock, and as you know, I love that look. And then I just selected a neutral piece of paper from the 6x6 pad and so I've just matted my photo. Now I'm sorry about the colour, um, it's kind of, we're nearing the end of spring, coming up to summer and I film this one later in the day and the light's a bit strange so that's why it keeps changing. So this um, card is an exclusive to the kit and we always get cards in our kits that are designed by Lacey and they're amazing, they go with the collection and it says this is the moment and I thought it was perfect to document the story behind this photo. This photo was actually taken by one of the teachers who was relieving. She's also a friend of mine and it was pretty emotional as you can imagine when the first child goes to school and my husband wasn't teaching at school at this time. He didn't start teaching there until um, a couple of years later so um, to be able to see to be able to see this photo was was really precious because I did wonder how Sam was getting on. He was so little and um, had been nervous about school. So when I saw this photo, I knew that all was well. They had, they go down to the lakefront where there's a reserve at lunchtime and morning tea time, and it was autumn when he started. I think he started in March, but it may have been April that this photo was taken, and. He lay on the leaves and he had this um, high-vis vest that all the little kids wear and it's huge on him. And I just, he just looks so happy in this photo and so when I saw this photo it was it was such a relief. And so the card that says this is the moment, so when I do my journaling I journal about this is the moment that I felt happy and relaxed I guess. That he was at school and he was happy. And anyway... All of you that are mums, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So this photo was perfect because this collection, both collections actually, the Wildflowers one as well, are very autumn or fall collections and I don't limit myself and by what season we're in right now. I have a lot of photos to scrap. So it worked perfectly with this photo. So I'm, um, I'm really happy to be using up some of these Cedar Lane ephemera. I love the, the mix of gold. You get acetate um, like that there, foil on the acetate as well. Acetate, acetate pieces without foil and then you get your usual, um, I guess it's cardstock or like the today in the tag, more heavier embellishments. So that little flare is by Laura Bellora and that's also exclusive to the kit and they are beautiful. And to create these leaves I was going to use my silhouette cameo but I'm having a few issues with cutting. So I pulled out a couple of dies. I can't remember what make they are but they not only cut they also emboss and I had two and so as you can see the maple leaf and then just the more standard leaf. I think it's a maple leaf. It's probably, if it's not a maple leaf, I apologise. It may just be an oak leaf. But anyway, they were perfect. And I just went through the 6x6 paper pad and I mostly selected neutral or smaller repeating patterned paper. 
and also a couple of patterns that had busier, a couple of pieces, sorry, that had busier patterns. And so I just cut out a whole lot one night. I did two at a time of each, well, I put in each of the two dies on with the same paper and just run it through it. So it took a while, but I'm so happy with how it turned out. Now I've sped this up because it's not really that exciting, it's just me positioning them. And I tear them with double sided tape as always. And some of them I added dimension with either the Stampin' Up Dimensionals and I'm not sure what brand the other ones are, they're just from Spotlight. And I managed to nestle that fox in with the leaves as well. And I think the last time I used a fox I said, you know, we don't have animals like that in New Zealand, but he's so cute. He's a boy, well I'm saying he's a boy and Sam's a boy, and I just love the way he looks just nestled in those leaves. So I'm just um, placing everything, and once again, and I know I've said this many times, not overthinking where I'm placing things, and I'm just wanting those leaves to look like, um, not a straight line, but just have a bit of organic flow, I guess, and a bit of movement, so just playing around and placing things, and when I'm happy, I'm sticking them down, and mm. the whole process didn't take that long at all, I think I made this entire page in about 40 minutes. The only thing I planned ahead was that I wanted to use the leaves and I wanted to use that card. Everything else kind of just literally fell into place. So when I'm placing these leaves down, I'm trying not to put the same colours or patterns next to each other. And I'm also trying not to put too many of the same shape leaf next to each other as well. And I'm really happy with how this one turns out. And I will say that this one... I also shared on our Pet Rally layout share, or sorry, blog share, that just happened a couple days ago, and so if you want to see it and um, still, do head on over to my blog, and also make sure you do the blog hop, because there are lots of awesome ladies, I just did it tonight, and the, it's not just design team members, we've got um, subscribers of our kits as well, and they are just amazing. The layouts that are shared are stunning, and there's a few other things in there too. Um, one lady shared a planner page, and one of our other design team members shared this amazing canvas. So do go and have a look. So when I put this today die cut word down, I just backed it with some Stampin' Up dimensionals as well. I want I needed some um, dimension. <laughs> I'm going to say lift. I needed it to rise up off the page so it didn't get lost. And I was so happy to finally use one of these frames. I found them quite hard because they are quite dark. I think it's a wood grain pattern, but it works so well when you pair it with the other bits and pieces in that ephemera pack. And of course with the 6x6 paper pad. Now I love that we got the, the option to purchase a 6x6 paper pad. It really has added to my kit so much and it works really well with the other collection where I'm in with wildflowers and I just love it. It's just, it's awesome. So I forgot to say I also got the washi tape book from Cedar Lane. You can see it on the left there. But I, oh, I did, I used one on this layout actually. Um, and I'll get to that soon. So here I'm just adding some of the acetate leaves. And I wanted to have them separate from the leaves at the bottom. And I'm just playing around now with what I've got left. Trying to see if there's any more of those ephemera die cuts that are going to work. And I decide that when it comes to all these leaves and embellishment around the photo that I don't want any of these leaves um, above the photo except for the cluster I'm forming at the top. So here I'm just keeping these ones flat. So I'm using my tape and I'm going to have them going slightly off where the stems are. And yes, they are the same leaf, but I don't mind that. And you'll see when I finish off this little cluster why it's perfectly fine to have the same ones up there. So I'm also using some of the um, printables, exclusive printables, and I'm using some, a label, and I'll be adding that soon. I've removed that die-cut leaf from the top there, like I was saying, I didn't want anything above the photo, and I'm just using a la uh, label. A tag that was one of the ephemera pieces and I've cut most of it off so I can use it for another project. 
So here I'm adding my printable label, and I think I've printed these printables twice, and I just love them. Of course, they go so well with the kit because they're made to match. And then I'm adding this acetate with gold foil hello, and I just love how it looks at the top there. So now I'm adding my journaling and I'm pretty much just writing what I've already told you about the photo. I don't know the exact date of this photo, but I'm guessing it's around April. So his birthday is the 29th of March, and I think he would have had a couple of days at school, and then we went into school holidays for two weeks. So he would have come back to school around mid to near end of April. So that journaling card, that card was just so perfect for my journaling, and I love that I've used it. And here I'm probably, I think I'm thinking what date to put, and I think I'm just putting April, and then I'm working out the years, because he's nearly nine, so it's a while ago. And here I'm adding some more of the splatters, and for these ones, um, because there wasn't much green underneath, so I've just put it all around, and then when it comes to the gold, the best thing to do to avoid big splatters is to um, splatter the first couple on a piece of scrap paper, and then get the smaller splatters on the page. <coughs> Excuse me. And so there's my final layer. I made sure some of the gold went on the leaves as well. Thank you so much for watching, and welcome to my new subscribers. I'll be back again soon.